What's up, cheerers? It's James here, and welcome back to my daily October series, Horror Recommendations for the Easily Scared. Now, to wrap up last week, we started off with Raw, French Canadian, uh, cannibal horror movie. Um, kind of sexy, kind of intriguing, really, really good. Um, wanted to start you off on a, on a level it's like, okay, we're, st we're, we're starting off calm in a way. You're going to be grossed out. You might be hungry. I was intrigued. I was like, oh, my. Then we went with It, both the 1990 uh, miniseries and then the 2017 movie. Clown horror. Never gave it to you. And it, oh, it's fucked. It's good. And the sequel is out um, in 2019 next year in September. Um, but again, kind of tame, but if you don't like clowns, you'll be fucking scared. Then we went with a Cronenberg classic. Do you, you hear the term Cronenberging? Uh, with The Fly, the 1958 version. Uh, I went with Sexy again, with Teeth. And like I said, make all the boys scared again. No means no, and you got to ask for consent. Uh, then I went with Time Travel Horror with The Caller. That, uh, that'll keep you up at night and make you think. Then I went back to Shyamalan with The Visit. And I'll make you think about your grandparents again. Then I went with one uh, for, the vam for proper vampire lovers. And what Twilight should have been. Because you know what? Fuck Twilight. With the original Swedish movie Let the Right Went In. And then the uh, American remake let me in, which I didn't mind. But yes, to start off this week, this is uh, we've got where uh, we got uh, we got nine days to go. Yes, till actual Halloween, and we're starting off this week. I'm being mean this week where, where I'm going to give you nightmares. I'm going to get make you up at night. I'm going to give you jump scares as well. Um, the big burly bastards are coming out now. Um, today's movie, so today's recommendation is John Carpenter, John Carpenter's The Thing, the 1982 version, not the 2011 uh, remake or prequel sequel. Hard to tell. But yeah, uh, if you don't know John Carpenter, you're, yeah, I'm very disappointed in you. He uh, has done the original Halloween. He's done, oh, holy shit. Um, <clears throat> uh, Assault on Precinct 13, Halloween, The Fog, Escape from New York, The Thing, Christine, uh, Starman, Prince of Darkness, They Live, Ghosts of Mars, Vampires, Escape of L.A., Village of the Damned, that was really good. Uh, Masters of Horror, yep. He is also producing, I believe, producer? Yes, of the new Halloween, the sequel, 40 Years of the Making. Apparently. But yes. Uh, directed by John Garmander, written by Bill Lancaster and John W. Campbell Jr., Starring uh, Kurt Russell, Wilford Brimley, uh, TK Carter. This is basically an all 80s cast. Um, David uh, Clennon, Keith David. Uh, sorry, yes. Uh, Charles Hallen, uh, Richard Masua. Yeah. Um, so basically... A research team in Antarctica is hunted by a shape-shifting alien that assumes the appearance of its victims. And it's learning. It's like, holy fuck. Um, it is a great film. Great uh, for uh, Kurt Russell's career uh, and uh, John Carpenter's career. Um, it has 
great fucking scenes. Um, and real awesome that it was actually set in Antarctica, not like in America. I know it's an American cast, but um, it, it's set in Antarctica because it's all remote and everything. And it kind of makes sense in the uh, prequel sequel because it's um, cause it's away from everything. Like, if it was in the city, it'd take over the fucking city. But it's in a remote Antarctica research lab. And everyone's scared. Everyone's on edge. It's like, holy fucking shit. Because it takes your memory, it takes your personality. And no one knows who it is. Um, no one's sleeping. No one's trusting anyone. Uh, there is a scene I'm about to play. Hold on. Um... John, uh, not John, sorry. Kurt Russell's, McCready. Uh, he's got a flamethrower and dynamite. It was real good. And she's like, anyone fucking makes a move on me, I'm going to fucking kill him. It's like, what the fuck, man? Um, but one of their crew members has had a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> That's breathing. Well, I'm gonna die. Get him in here and bring the others. Now nobody gets out of my sight. McCree is kind of taking on the leadership role, which which makes sense. Um, every like I said, everyone's on fucking edge. It's an alien that has killed some of the crew at this point in time, but you can't let a person die. Okay, the first clear didn't work. He's trying to um, revive Norris, but that didn't work. So he's going in for a second one. And you're like, okay, that seems pretty normal. <laughs> and this is where the excellent body horror starts. The dude's stomach fucking opens up and fucking chews off the dude's arms. And he's kind of eating him too. And everyone knows, like, oh, McCready's not the one. And I would say, for 1982, this is actually pretty good for the effects and all that. Like, no CGI bullshit that we have today, or um, overused CGI, sorry. Like, some CGI is good. But um, this is, like, practical effects. It looks... It looks fucking disgusting. Like, um, it's all oozy and uh, monstrous, and you're like, what the fuck are you? And the best thing, this scene was all practical. Uh, he's just flying through the body, and it looks real gross because the guy's face is fucking melting, and it was made by using chewing gum. Mm. Which is like, oh, okay, that's a lot of chewing gum, but. Yeah. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. So, yes. 
Uh, like I said, I'm starting off um, hard and heavy with this week. John Carpenter's classic, uh, The Thing. Uh, watch it late at night. Um, it's an intense movie. Um, it's one of the, like I said, one of the greatest horror films of all time. Like, one of the many. Um, you can watch the sequel if you want, like the prequel sequel, or the sequel prequel. If you want to, but it's just like, uh, the acting in it is fucking horrible. Even though it's of today's standards. Uh, but, but yeah, it's like, everyone's like, oh, you know what? We're trying, we're going to have a sexy cast. It's like, no, go back to the 80s where everyone was technically sexy. But it was also gross to watch them. It's like, Ugh. But, yeah. Um, uh, yes. So, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, if you have watched this movie, what did you think about it at the time? How old were you when you first watched it? Um, 1982. I wasn't born. I was born in 88. Um, I watched it. I have to admit, I probably watched it back in 2011. Uh, when the, uh, the prequel sequel came out or whatever because I wanted both. I uh, watched the original and I'm like, woo, okay. Then I uh, watched the uh, new one and I'm like, yeah, it doesn't hold up. So yeah, how old were you guys when you watched it for this um, horror classic? Uh, if they were to try and remake it again, how would you want it to go? Who would you want to be in it? And would you go in Antarctica again? Or would you make it different? And would you want to bring back the practical effects of the chewing gum instead of the CGI? But yeah. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, show it to your friends. Make them scared. And remember, let's build the trust before scaring them shitless. Oh no!